important for us because as citizens of this country, we have a right to know history as it was, not as history as whitewashed by certain left or leftists who operated for very political reasons. Now, like most Indians, I didn't hear a Savarkar. I was taught history that was written by the government, by a certain set of people. I was told 1857 was the Sepoy mutiny, obviously written by the British. Then we grew up and read about history written by Romila Thapar and all the gang from uh, JNU. <laughs> so we didn't know who were the heroes, what happened. We learned about Bhagat Singh, we learned about uh, Subhash Chandra Bose, and of course Gandhi led, Nehru was the blue-eyed boy, and we led all this narrative. Now, I went to Port Blair about six years ago on a holiday. I went to the cellular jail, because you know, you go for tourism. When I walked through cellular jail, and I saw the plate and saw all the writing about Savarkar. I went to his uh, cell where he was held for 12 years. I saw the hangman's news where, you know, from his window he could see people getting hanged. Then we went to the oil mill where he was yoked like an animal and bit by somebody and walked through all that and read about him. And then my friend was there and he gave me a book which spoke about him and read and I was shocked. I was shocked. My friend is a lawyer and he told me about the famous case Savarkar versus Rex, which was the internal, international case, when Savarkar jumped shape and became an international legal issue. 